the battery is about to die, so I'm going to make this very quick, and I'm sure you're okay with that. I have a video I'm going to do for you today, which is a K-Bar unboxing. Uh, everybody knows, of course, what the K-Bar is. It's probably the most popular knife in the world. And I went ahead and bought one here for my new loadout uh, that I'm working on, which will be kind of like a lightweight reconnaissance, if you want to call it that, type setup, um, just for light patrols and things of that nature in a um, natural disaster type situation, just protecting your own house, things like that. So look forward to that video coming up here in the next month or so. But for now, we're going to go ahead and open up this uh, little box here. And if you look around online, you can find different deals. This one, uh, the K-Bar itself comes with a hard Kydex sheath like this one, or a uh, kind of like a reinforced leather sheath. I wanted to go with this one just because of the durability of it. It's got the lanyard holes was the main reason because I want to have it either on the low end of my back <clears throat> at a uh, horizontal position or either on my upper left shoulder at a vertical configuration. But anyway, this one comes with the hard Kydex sheath and you can put it on your belt if you wanted to and it has a fastener here. Uh, it gives you some nice instructional information on how to be safe. Make sure you read that. It's very good information to have. Gives you a little <clears throat> instruction, well, not really instruction book. I'm assuming it's advertisements. I haven't actually looked at it, but uh, it goes over the history and uh, you know shows one of the original K bars there from World War II, possibly World War One. Not a huge historian on the knife, but <clears throat> it's very functional and it's very famous. So let's go ahead and take a look. <clears throat> take this protective cover off. Again, the overall length is <clears throat> um, pretty much right at 12, 12 inches, <clears throat> with the blade being about 7 inches. I got the partially serrated just for cutting ropes or whatever the case may be. It's got the groove here, which is uh, identified as a blood groove on the actual anatomy of the knife. False edge on the back. Um, very, very sharp already out of the box. Got some nice uh, guards here. It's a little bit longer. I don't know if you can see it on the uh, back here. More room for the thumb. <clears throat> uh, the way the knife is actually constructed, if you take out this bar here, this plate comes off and these all slide off. Um, but it's very, very nice rubber grip. Um, you're not going to accidentally lose this thing or have it fly out of your hand. It is a very, very, very uh, well-constructed blade. Uh, it's got some branding down here. Um, K-Bar from Olean, New York, USA 1217, or 1211, I should say. Um, and it's got a very good locking mechanism. I'll go ahead and put this box out of the way. But this is the two main things that, obviously, um, we want out of the whole review. But the thing I like about it is it is a very sturdy locking mechanism. You push it in all the way, and then push it again until it clicks. That's not going to fall out. Um, I kind of wish this uh, snap here kind of came off because I'm not going to need it. And as you can see here, uh, under the back, it's pretty much, uh, there's like a grommet or something there, so it's not going to just pop off like these uh, um, clasps would. But it's easy to lock, easy to undo, easy to push off with the sheath, and just pull the knife out for quick deployment. Um, <clears throat> Again, overall, I always wanted a really good fixed knife. I had one by Columbia River Knife and Tool for a few years, but wanted to go ahead and go with the original. This one's got some extra features. Uh, this might not be marketed as much of an ergonomic grip, but it's a lot more comfortable, and it's a, it's a hard rubber uh, grip, so it's not uncomfortable if you really have to you know, put a lot of force into it. Um, overall, very happy with it, well-balanced, uh, very sharp. Um, See if I have something here for that actual order form, but uh, you know, let's just cover my address here for you. <laughs> It'll go right through. Pretty much anything. I know this is just paper, but it is a very sharp knife. Uh, very pleased with it. And if you have any questions or concerns, definitely feel free to let me know.